Council's Shadow. Once upon a time, the Council's Shadow, and here we have the Est going with both Optatus and with Absconditus. It longed for attention, but its light was hidden, and I think we're going to go a consular, ablative of personal agent. Yeah, looking good here. The consul is very famous, and the peoples love the consul. But the shadow, and look at this. Just like real Latin, the verb to be is not included in the sentence. The shadow is not to be loved, nor is it to be noticed. The shadow is to be hated and feared. Very nice. And this wonderful lacuna there of the verb to be, the leaving out. Because, uh, let's see, let me just get my bearings here. Um, because of this, oh, I see. Um, let's see, we'll do a little, well, we'll just skip over that. I get it. Because of this, um, he prepares to kill the consul. Now, one mistake I saw a couple times here is this um, construction where you're doing purpose clauses with an infinitive, interfricator. And actually, you want to use the subjunctive, which is surprisingly very close to the infinitive. So, interficaret instead of interficara. Um, oh, there's the gong. Uh, let's see. Purpose first. I think here, that's like before. So, probably first in the sense you want it is primo at first. The um, shadow had to be separated, secretanda est, from the consul. Yeah, that's good. I love all these uh, future passive paraphrastics. Here, 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 that, and then here, here. You're going crazy with the passive paraphrastics. And hey, who doesn't love a passive paraphrastic? All right, he asks his friend to, all right, and here again, instead of the infinitive, just put the subjunctive and off you go, to separate from the consul by the sword. Yeah, probably want to uh, separate him from the consul, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's see, this is easy to do, and I think um, here, believe it or not, you probably want hope. This thing is easy to do instead of uh, the feminine there, or possibly the neuter accusative plural, because the consul does not love the shadow. Perfect Latin there. Once that was done, Ablative absolute, yes indeed, conciliat, he plots. Uh, let's see here, uh, now this, constat, he decides, he sets his mind that he should depart, depart of verb there, proficiscarator, depart in the night, and that he should, let's see, what is that? That's a word I don't actually know. Creep up upon the consul. Mm -hmm. Because in the night, a shadow would not be seen. Well, you can make that singular to go with a singular verb. Or if you want to make that plural, you can make a plural verb. Through that wicked... And next page. Through that wicked... Plan. Oh, look at this. Not only, but also, <laughs> not only, but also, correlative uh, expressions there. Not only the shadow's reputation, but in fact, at length, the shadow, a meta. Oh, I think that. 
would finally be long. I think here you're using the supine. I'd love to know your thinking on that. Uh, I'm thinking you may be meant to say uh, mater in the subjunctive. The shadow would be love, but maybe not. Once the plan was put together, the shadow departs. Well done. Deponent verb, I love it. Passive forms, active meanings. When the shadow arrives at the consul's home, really nice, I don't know if you know this, but domum is this weird noun that does not need a preposition. So when you, when you say to home, you don't say ad domum, you just say domum. That's the same way we say, where are you going? I'm going home. You don't say, I'm going to home. He creeps up on the console for as long as nobody should see the shadow. His crime was, would not be noticed. This is subjunctive, so this is like um, speculative. And Skelos is neuter, so we just put an M there. Once the consul was asleep, consulo, uh, and he, this is actually a third declension noun, dormito, uh, and I think I would put dormiente while he was sleeping. Uh, the shadow killed the consul. Yes, the usual Latin behavior, kill. Oh dear. And nice subject, object, and verb, perfect Latin there. But to the extent that the consul was dead, that's a bit of absolute, the shadow, watch this, last here, goes with that, goes with that, was not strengthened, but it was destroyed, because without the consul, the shadow is, uh, what did you say for that? Worthless, vapam, lovely. The news of the story, sadness is born from uh, worry, uh, you say jealousy, okay. Well, no, 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 disloyalty, I guess. Invidentia is jealousy, and yeah, great moral. So this is great. This reminds me of both sort of uh, medieval morality stories in Latin, and also, it reminds me of uh, Greek literature, um, Aesop's fables. So, really nice. And uh, let's talk further. If you would like, I can sort of refine the Latin in here. So you have like a final copy of this. I won't alter it too much. Uh, sort of suitable for framing story. Maybe you want to illustrate it. And... Uh, yeah, because this is just, it's a fantastic story, it's a great plot, it's a great morality story, I just, I like the content of it so much, and it's so reflective of ancient literature, as you're going to see when you read more, so thank you so much for this. Uh, would love to clean this up for you, uh, present you with something final, um, and if you want to pursue this a little more, we can do that, because you're really working very independently now. So let me know. Bye-bye.